Well, there's no doubt about it. This time of year can seem pretty grim. I mean, winter definitely has the gardens and its icy grip. The plants are for the most part dormant. And a lot of the birds, butterflies have migrated south. But that doesn't mean the fun's over. There are plenty of ways that you can still attract birds, photograph them, and just enjoy them all winter. In fact, some of the most dramatic bird photographs you're going to get will come during the winter. Uh, you can see from these pictures that Mary Pat took, having the snow on the ground, and even when the snow is flying sometimes, uh, it just makes for very dramatic footage. And you can get some beautiful bird pictures, but you need to do a little planning. And this is where Mary Pat operates for a lot of the winter. You can see the big lens over there, and uh, the paper on the on the glass is so that the birds don't get frightened off. But she does a lot of her photographing right from here. Well, let's go outside on the deck and take a look at what Mary Pat does to bring the birds in for winter photography. So in the winter, Mary Pat turns the uh, deck into a feeding and bathing station for birds and she uses a lot of the uh, Christmas decorations after Christmas is done to kind of make it look a little bit better for the photographs but you can see she has all kinds of stations here for feeding the birds and attracting them And let's just talk about each of these. Even though there are a number of feeders on this table, probably the most popular element on the table is the bird bath. And uh, these pictures here of, of birds socializing around the hot tub uh, are from our previous bird bath. And unfortunately, it just got so cold that that heater uh, that was an external heater, just couldn't handle it, and the bird bath froze and it cracked. So we got this new one, and it has a built-in heating unit, and it's pretty popular, as I think you'll see. So if you keep your eye on the bird bath in the background, uh, just to the left of that cup of seeds, you'll see plenty of birds coming down to drink and uh, just generally enjoy the spa. And, and that's a great thing to set up in the winter. Birds need water. And like right now, you can see we had a, a couple of warm days, so there's no more snow on the deck. But when everything is frozen up, when the creeks and, uh, and ponds are frozen up, if you have a bird bath like this, you're going to attract birds, and you'll be able to get some pictures. Well, we've got a couple of areas set up with suet feeders, and Mary Pat makes her own suet, which is... is pretty easy to do it's just rendered rendered fat and we just go to our local market and ask them to save fat scraps for us uh, from you know the meat they're cutting up in the butcher department and we'll get about 10 pounds of that and Mary Pat will render it down and put seeds and fruits and all sorts of stuff in it and mold it into blocks and the birds love it especially woodpeckers now these suet blocks they provide a lot of great bird action uh, during the winter time and, and I've got to say they're well worth the effort to put them together but if you don't want to make them you can buy commercially made suet blocks that fit in these cages the green cage you're looking at is made to take suet blocks uh, so that birds can get at it uh, so whether you make your own or, or you buy them it's it's a real smart way to go to attract birds and it's a very high energy option for the birds as well so it's it's really good for them these are our bluebird feeders. Mary Pat generally loads these up with mealworms. And um, we have quite a few bluebirds around. We've got a number of bluebird houses on the property. And they're beautiful. Uh, and they're a lot of fun to watch in the wintertime. Well, this is our newest addition out on the deck for this winter. This is the Bird Photo Booth 2.0 and uh, it's a pretty neat little device it's basically a little blind that holds a GoPro type camera it's it's not a GoPro it's their own camera 
uh, that's motion uh, sensitive. So kind of like a trail cam, except it has 4K uh, video quality. Uh, the, the I have to say it doesn't really work that well in 4K with my editing software, so I'm using 1080p for that. But uh, but you can get very high definition bird videos, um, and you can pop it out there and wait for the birds to come. So we're probably going to do a video just on this as a product review in a little while. But uh, this is a lot of fun to play around with. Uh, this may actually be our most popular feeding station. And uh, Mary Pat put this together by taking this tower feeder and basically gluing it to a baking dish, uh, a baking pan, like a cookie sheet. And uh, this has really been good because a lot of these birds like to eat right out of the tower and a lot of them like to pick up the seeds basically off the ground, off that flat surface of the cookie tin. So this gets a tremendous amount of action. And uh, it's a lot of fun to watch. And as you can see, a lot of different birds will come to it. So it really is uh, just one of the neatest stations that you can set up. Of course, where you got bird seed, you've got some other critters that like to eat it. And uh, that can be a challenge. And maybe we'll do a video in the future about dealing with, uh, with these little guys. In the meantime... We'll just close out with a little bit of bird video action, let you enjoy it. And uh, if you enjoy the channel, I hope you'll subscribe to it. And if you'd like to see more of Murray Pat's bird pho photography and uh, keep up with the news, check out our, our Facebook page, Wings and Things. See you next time.